Hi, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to Finally Revealed. Today I want to talk about delivering bad news. Delivering bad news requires some sensitivity and for a whole host of reasons. In an employment situation, for legal reasons, on a, in a personal situation so you don't, you know, get your car keyed or, you know, there's some, somebody seeks revenge. And it, it, I just hope that these tips will help you in whatever situation it is that it next time you have to do this that it's a little bit smoother for you the first suggestion I have is to think about what you're gonna say before you say it think about a couple of different ways to say it if it's a personnel matter at work talk to your HR people or some other people if you've never done this before and and you know prepare what you're going to say think about the person who's receiving this information it, you know, if it's somebody who's, who's been close to you, you've had a personal relationship with, you've done things together, maybe they've got kids, you know their kids, this is going to be bad news to them uh, in, in a variety of ways. So think about the person and think about where it would be best to deliver this bad news. In an employer-employee situation or co you know business situation or client situation, if you're firing a client or you're telling them about bad news or something you thought could go one way, it's turned out another way. In the medical profession, you know a test comes back and it's not good. You know they thought they were making progress and they're not. You're they've applied to you for a loan and they're not going to get it or somebody's asked you for a favor and you can't do it there's a you know there's a whole lot of things where people are going to be disappointed and there's different levels of disappointment tip i have is do it in person face to face is best for bad news at a minimum it should be voice on a phone call at a minimum if it's a it's a business customer situation that can be over the telephone if it's a personal situation if it's a family situation if it's a firing someone situation that should be in person you know the funny things come to mind there was um, well Carrie on sex in the city Carrie had that guy burger and he broke up with her on a post-it note and that was a whole episode there was also a company and I was trying to think of this earlier today and I can't think of the name of it but there was a comp a big company in the last five years that fired a whole bunch of people by email I can't you might that you might remember who it is but I can't remember but they fired people by email I mean that's you know just so wrong so do it in person or by phone if you can uh, that you really should make the arrangements you should make the arrangements to do that um, and a lot of doctors to their credit do that they have the patient come in now a lot of times the patient will say they called and they won't tell me anything over the phone and they just said get in here right away well you already know that it's going to be bad news so I might give them a little hint but just wait to deliver it when they're in person the next thing is when you are doing it in person think of the person who's receiving the news and the time and place and the time and place also for you for the time that you're doing it, the time of day and and what you've got going on that day because the next thing is going to be a little unpleasant but you need to give them some time to respond to react to receive the three R's this bad news um, you don't have to necessarily say anything more depending upon the situation but you know there you know about this information going in and you've had that information for a while well think about how much time they're gonna need to process this it doesn't have to be a long time but you should give them a respectable amount of time to absorb it in private you don't want somebody to be in tears and then shove them out the door or you know you get up and just leave them there you know it's a fine line but to, based upon the situation use your judgment and give them plan for that time and then you know listen to them again you don't it you don't need to respond most likely but listen to them so that they can move on a little bit or them to the door whatever you need to do but I hope this is helpful this is a hard thing for people to have to do and the first time you do it it's going to be very stressful for you 
if you've ever received bad news, such as you're gonna to give to someone else, think back to how you felt in that situation or you might feel if you were getting that, you know, getting that news. And a little bit of thought and planning on your side will help the delivery of the information to the other person. And like I said at the beginning, it can help guard against bad reactions and other types of behavior that will benefit you in the long run. So I hope this was helpful to you. Let, if, this, if there's somebody that needs to see this video, feel free to share it with them. Give us a thumbs up if it was helpful. And we love subscribers. And hey, thanks so much to the recent views. We really, really appreciate it. I appreciate it. And if there's something that you wanna know that I can help you with, leave me a comment. I'll see you next time.